Exercise 3. Existing terrain model and setting up views. A terrain model is typically needed when defining vertical geometry. A terrain model is a triangulated 3D object that represents the existing ground surface. It is used to display the existing ground profile, which will be used to help us design an appropriate vertical alignment. Before designing the vertical alignment for London Road, we're going to learn how to attach the existing ground terrain model and also take a look at how to define 2D and 3D views to better view the terrain. This video is going to guide you through the process of attaching a terrain model to the design file. It's also going to discuss how we will define 2D and 3D views. So in this lesson, you're going to learn how to attach the terrain model. You're going to learn how to set the terrain model active. You're going to learn how to review the terrain model. You're also going to learn how to define 2D and 3D views as well as review the 2D and 3D views. So let's begin. We're going to continue working in the geometry design file. And again, recall this is a 2D design file. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach the terrain model to our design file. Now terrain models are stored in 3D files. Anytime you need to use a terrain model within your project, you just need to attach the terrain model as a reference. Let's go ahead and attach our terrain model. I'm going to navigate up to the Home tab, locate the primary ribbon panel, Go to the Attach Tools and select References. Let's go ahead and turn off the Aerial Topo DGN. So go ahead and select it. Go down to the Display Toggle button and turn it off. Now let's go ahead and attach the terrain. So go up to Tools, select Attach, locate the file called Terrain Underbar Existing. Now recall this is a 3D design file. Notice it shows you a preview window over here. Set the attachment method to interactive and then click open. From here you'll see the reference attachment properties dialog appear. Set the orientation to coincident world. All other settings can be left as default and then click OK. That will attach the existing terrain to our file. From here let's go ahead and close the references dialog and fit the view. Let's go ahead and review the terrain model real quick. So you can see here, we have some existing contours that are displayed. If you hover over the contours, it will show you the name of the terrain model. It will show you the level as well as the reference file. So it's showing you that this has been attached as a reference file called terrain under bar existing .dgn. Also notice there is a terrain model boundary indicated by the green dashed line. If you hover your cursor over that, you'll also see the name of the terrain model as well as the level and the design file that the terrain model came from, which in this case is terrain under bar existing. One thing that's important to understand about Open Roads Designer is that it can have 2D and 3D models within inside of one 2D design file. So we've attached 3D information to a 2D design file. So let's take a closer look at the models in this design file. Navigate over to the Home tab in the primary panel and select Models. Models dialog box will appear. You'll see inside our file right now, we only have one model. This is the default 2D model. Notice the name, it says default. It's directly related to view number one. And notice the name there is also called default. So view number one indicates this particular model. Since we have a terrain model, the existing terrain is technically displayed in the 3D model. So let's go ahead and create the 3D model. I'm going to go and select the terrain model boundary. Hover your cursor there for a few seconds and select Set as Active Terrain Model. When you do that, notice there's another model that shows up on our list here. Its name is Default 3D. But we're still only in a 2D file. We're still in the V1 Default 2D model. Notice that the Default 3D model shows you a different icon here indicating that's a 3D model. So let's go ahead and review that particular model. Let's go ahead and close the Models dialog box. Click in the view. Right click. Go to the View Control button and select Views, Plan, Slash, 3D. This will open up two views side by side. View 1 will be the default 2D model. View 2 will be the default 3D model. Let's go ahead and fit both views. Click in the 3D view. Navigate up to the Fit View tool and select that to fit the 3D view. Click in View 1 to fit its view. So you can visualize the existing terrain model 
in either view. Also, knowing which view is active at any time is also important. This by simply clicking in that view makes that particular view active. If you click in view one, you can see view one is now active. When you click into view two, you'll now see that view two is active. Now that we've learned how to work with the terrain model, in the next section we'll take a look at extracting the existing ground profile from the terrain model so that we can begin designing our vertical alignment for London Road. So in this lesson, we learned how to attach the existing terrain model as a reference file. We learned how to review the terrain model. We also learned about 2D views and 3D views, as well as 2D and 3D models. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.